I'm Marilyn Farquhar, so happy that you joined me again today. Today I want to show you a quilt which I call my modern drunkard tulip. Um, this is actually what I would call a UFO. It's from many years ago and I started doing this drunkard's path block, uh, but I actually did it in rectangle shape. So I had a background and I appliqued uh, two different uh, curved patches on top. And then I probably got bored of this project and it got put away and I thought, you know, new fabrics, new patterns, new ideas come to mind and it's always the most current thing that I want to be working on. Anyways, I forced myself and pulled out this project and thought whatever is done is going to be done and I wanted to wrap it up and finish it. So what I did is I had, um, it was maybe three quarters finished. I um, took a couple of uh, the strips of um, blocks apart just so I could make it a little more random. I inserted some chocolate brown solid fabric into the mix and just randomly uh, did that with as least amount of work as I could because as I say I wanted to finish this project. Uh, once I had the top finished I actually was pretty pleased with it. It had a, a modern hint to it uh, because of the solid and the empty negative space. Um, and then what I did is I frequently meet with uh, a group of friends that all have long arm machines and we sometimes banter about different ideas of how to quilt our quilt. So this was uh, a quilt top that I took along to that group meeting and solicited information or feedback from my friends. And one of my friends, Mary, said she saw tulips. Tulips just jumped out at her and I saw what she was saying and I liked what she was saying. I really liked that that would have a modern flair to it. So here, right here, you can just see that those four curved patches make a nice tulip. So what I did is with my quilting design is I digitized this pattern to mimic the tulip shape. I really like that I brought all the points down here because that really gave some thread play and um, had the thread build up so that you actually see the color of the thread really nice there at the, the bottom point. But I didn't want to have every block looking like a tulip. I thought that's just too predictable. I just wanted a few blocks highlighted as tulips. As I worked further along with my design process, um, I used a graphic uh, a program called Graphic, which is a drawing app. And I took this quilt in as a background and just started doodling my, my designs and plotting this out as to where I was going to emphasize the tulip. But what I came up with then is I really liked some exaggerated tulips. So, here I did one that is a very long length here. You can see that. So it goes, I don't know, about 36, 40 inches long with this tulip. A couple of leaves, which actually mimic the same pattern that's in the, the bloom. All it is is this section of it became my leaf. And then what I did is I even exaggerated more and had an asymmetrical tulip. So this side of the bloom goes higher than this side. And then everything else, once I got my tulips plotted, straight line stitching behind everything else, which just kind of makes everything else recede and the tulips come forward. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope this is, inspires you to uh, take on one of your own UFOs and finish it up. Thank you.